15 year old boy is now behind bars tonight after an early joy ride ended in a crash today in Cochise County. News 4 Tucson's Jafet Serato live in Benson right now. So Jafet, we're hearing that they may be accused also of smuggling. Yes, he is, Angelique. Sheriff Mark Daniel says after he crashed a stolen vehicle here behind me on Interstate 10 and Highway 90, deputies found evidence of smuggling inside the car. We're talking about Pablo Figueroa. You can see a picture of him on your screen right now. Cochise County deputies say Figueroa led law enforcement on a high-speed chase on Highway 80 through Benson, then got into the I-10 toward Tucson in the wrong direction. He then got into Highway 90 where he crashed. No one was hurt. Sheriff Mark Daniel says in the past two years, more than 100 teenagers have been caught for some kind of smuggling on the border many of them who are not from Cochise County. You look at uh, almost 3,000, I think it was 2,884 people booked in our jail over the last two years for border crimes. Only 154 were illegally in the country. So it's U.S. citizens to include juveniles that are coming down here to partake in international crime and partner up with the criminal cartels that don't care about anybody. Sheriff Daniel says the federal government needs to do more to help local governments like Cochise County handle and deal with the smuggling problem here. He also blames social media for making it so easy to attract teenagers in smuggling. Live in Cochise County, Jafet Serato, News 4, Tucson. Jafet, thank you. And according to the Cochise County Sheriff's Department, there have been over 100 juvenile involved juveniles involved in smuggling events over the border just the last two years and in total there have been 566 smuggling drivers in 414 pursuits and failure to yield since 2022. We head now across the country for a live look at Capitol Hill, the Capitol building there where the showdown